<laughs> Next game up, London, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. The Jets taking on the Falcons, and this is a terrible football game that we would likely not be discussing if not for the fact that it is in a standalone window on Sunday morning. So, you know, we'll be pulling up YouTube or, or Yahoo or whatever the, the online spot is, and we'll be watching, I would imagine, early on Sunday while we're doing our college football reaction show. Uh, Falcons are a three-point favorite, total of 46. Of course, the odds brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. Uh, use the promo code NCAAF2021 to sign up for a 125% sign-up bonus. Uh, brother, this is this is going to sound weird. Uh, the Falcons looked pretty good against Washington last week and, and just let it all go to waste at the very end. Mm-hmm. I, it, it was not uh, the former coach. Uh, it was not Dan. It was... Just this team does not have a clutch gene for whatever reason. They cannot make the plays when they need to make the plays. And I I liked what I saw from the Jets last week at home against the Titans. And and doing that typically is going to get you in trouble, other than the fact that the Jets have looked pretty good in multiple games this year. They just finally were able to put it together and get a win. I, I'm going to take the Jets plus three over the Falcons here because I think the Jets are a better team. Like, I, I, overall, I think their DVOA is better. I think uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of sold on on this Jets team as improving, right? These, these are two of the bottom three worst DVOA teams in the country. But this this Jets defense has shown me a little bit, and, and I don't much trust Atlanta's defense. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take the Jets to win because I think they're going to be able to uh, be able to slow down the Falcons. Yeah, I think I'm with you. I think I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Jets. Now here's the, here's the truth. This is the honest fact of the matter. Okay, I really want to know who's going early and who's going late because every year one team gets there like literally after their Sunday game, they've already flown there, right? And and another team chooses to fly in like Friday. Okay. And every year the team it doesn't matter if they're the best team in the world or the worst. Every year. The team that flies in late gets their ass kicked. They are whipped. The, the the jet leg just physically does something to their body to where they don't play well at all. And it is every time we've done this. So I kind of wish I would know who's flying in now or maybe you know Wednesday or Thursday and who's who's flying in Friday. And so I'm trying to look it up and right now, and I don't know that you I don't know that we can find that information. Now, if they both fly in late, I don't know what that means. <laughs> then, yeah, then, yeah. Um, you know, then then we get an odd thing. But if if you get reports that one team flew in late and and wanted to practice at home and stay in their house and treat this like a normal road game, then then bet against that team. Yeah, but that tends to make without sense. that knowledge. Without that knowledge, I'll take the Jets in the point. Uh, Jets also better uh, special teams unit. Their uh, their DVOA for special teams number twenty in the NFL. The Falcons number thirty two. Uh, as far as red zone goes, the the Jets defense in the red zone number six against Atlanta's offense, which is number twenty, and the Jets offense number sixteen in the red zone. Atlanta's defense number thirty two, worst in the league. And as far as variance goes and whatnot, the Jets like there's there's not a lot of variance with this team. You know exactly what they are. The Falcons. Uh, can be up, can be down. It's they are number twenty six on offensive variance. That's definitely not good. Definitely not good. Number seventeen overall variance for uh, for Atlanta. So I'll uh, I'll roll Jets on that one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at Winning or Chris at Winning Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.